hello friends welcome to this video now in continuation with the previous video where we saw that how we can create the first pivot table so now in this video we'll be going further with the pivot tables and we'll be doing some manipulation in the pivot tables i'll be showing you how to do the sorting how to update the pivot table how to change the aggregation values yeah so let us see in this video all those manipulations in the previous video we created this first pivot table now here we have taken the category in the row section and in the column section we have taken the region and in the value section we have taken the sales and when we drag the sales over here then automatically it becomes sum of sales because it is doing the aggregation so here we'll come back with this aggregation things now first of all in this pivot table i can see that my values are having some decimal suppose if i don't want to see the decimal values i want to make it whole number or if i want to reduce the number of decimal values so that also i can do it now see i have already mentioned in the previous videos that in germany we use here comma for the decimal and we use the dot for the 1000 separator so it is just opposite to what you are using it in us canada and other countries including india also so here the things are different so when you see here comma in my file then it is a decimal value so what i'll do that i don't want to see like this so i will select one of this value right click and then here we are having the option known as format cells or let's say i can go to the format cells also i can also go to the number format i go for the number format here in the number format i can select here number and once i select the number then i can decide that okay whether i want to have two decimal places or one or zero let me make it here zero and now i also put this 1000 separator because this number is big enough so i use here this 1000 separator if i want to highlight any negative number because sometimes you may have some negative value so you can also select whether you want to just put minus sign in front of that number to show as a negative value or you want to highlight it as a red color yeah, or something else let's say i'll go with this standard one here i've used the 1000 separator and i've removed the decimal places i click on ok button and now here you can see that our numbers are now converted to the whole number so this is the first thing and here you can see that 1000 separator we are using here dot in other countries it is used comma so our table is now looking good now let's say here we are having this in the row section we are having category in the column section we are having region now what i can do i can also swap these two fields so i can simply drag this category field i can put it in the region section and this region section field i can put it here in the row section so i've just done the swapping so this is also possible so now you can see that on my row section i'm having the four regions and in my column section i'm having the three categories and i'm having another pivot table now let's say instead of suppose region i want to use here another field let's say segment so i remove this region here i can drag it out so now my row section is empty and now in the row section i can drag here suppose segment so i bring here the segment in the row section and now you can see these three segments over here consumer corporate and home office and now i can do this kind of analysis also so this is what we mean by another pivot table now let's say i want to see the information between the segment and the ship mode so i will keep this segment as it is i'll remove this category from this column section out and now i can bring here this ship mode ship mode i can bring it from the top i can put it over here and now i can see this segment and ship mode these are the four ship mode that we have first class same day second class and standard class and these are the three segments so see once your structure is created or i would say that once your pivot table structure is created then you can do anything here yeah you can put something in the row section something in the column section you can also switch over and you can create various types of pivot table suppose if your manager is saying okay please do the analysis between the segment and the ship mode or please do the analysis between the country and the segment so you can play with this pivot table it is very easy and you have seen in the earlier video that creating the pivot table it will not take more than five seconds very very easy just select the cell within the main table go to the insert tab in the insert tab you click the pivot table whatever the things are there in that dialog box you select everything click on ok button and your pivot table is created so it is that easy now we will be coming to this values section in the values section you have here sum of sales now suppose if you tell me that okay samir i want to see here the average of sales not sum of sales so that also i can change it i can click the drop down over here and in the drop down i'm having one option known as value field settings i click on the value field settings and now this dialog box will come up here so here the name of the field is written sum of sales now here i can decide whether i want to go for sum count average max mean product count number standard deviation standard deviation p and then variable and etc so what i can do suppose if i want to 
convert from sum to average i can click on this average option and once i select here average now i can see here average of sales so i can click on ok button and now it is showing me the average value of the sales again if i want to convert it into sum of sales so see one option is over here in the drop down click on the value field settings another option is over here suppose if i select this cell any random cell within the pivot table i right click over here when i right click then here also i'm having the option summarize values by instead of average now i can click on sum and now this is again sum of sales so either you can do it from here right click and click on summarize values by or you can come over here in the drop down and you can click here value field settings and now here you can select the aggregation option so this is what we mean by this aggregation over here now let me take here instead of this segment in the row section i'll remove this segment here and let me bring here the subcategory we have category also and we have subcategory so let me bring here the subcategory i put it here in the row section so now we are having a little bit bigger table so we can see here that there are 17 subcategories and we are having the four ship mode now we can see here the total sales for all these 17 subcategories now see if you see these subcategories they are shown in the alphabetical ascending order it starts from accessories and the last subcategories tables now in this grand total yeah sometimes it is difficult to know that which subcategory is having the highest sales or which subcategory is having the lowest sales so what we can do we can do the sorting of this grand total because i want to know that which subcategory is having the highest sales so here in the grand total column i can select any one random cell and then i can right click over here when i right click i have this option sort in the sort i have these two options sort smallest to largest and sort largest to smallest let's say i go for sort largest to smallest and now i can see here that chairs is having the highest sum of sales while fasteners is having the lowest sum of sales so this is how we can do the sorting again i'm repeating click any one of this value within the grand total right click sort and in the sort you can select either largest to smallest or smallest to largest suppose if i select here smallest to largest now fasteners is on the top area because it is having the lowest sales and the chairs is on the bottom area because chairs is having the highest sales so this is how you can do the sorting now one more thing here that suppose if i go to the main table now see i've already created this pivot table let me type here i double click and i write down here first pivot table so i've given the sheet name as first pivot table now this is my main table now suppose if i do some changes in the main table so let me take one example over here that here i'm taking one example where i'm taking this office supplies and then the office supplies i want to change this value here sales value currently it is the first sales value over here it is 16448 now what i'll do that i will put here instead of 16448 i'll change it to 16450 i'll add two more dollars over here now let me go to the first pivot table and here in the first pivot table if i go for this subcategory it is paper so if i go over here so currently if you see the paper value paper sum of sales is 79541 now if i'll be adding two more dollars over here then this value should be 17 9543 yeah if i add here two more dollars in the total sales so now what i'll do that i'll go to the order sheet the main table and here i will change this value so instead of 16 point now this is the decimal value so 16.448 let me change it to 18.448 press enter now see here i've changed the value in the main table now if i go to the pivot table you see here that the pivot table it is still showing you 79541 now actually this should change because if I change the main table, then this should also change. But remember that this is not an automatic process. If you do any modification in the main table, then the pivot table will not change automatically. What you have to do? You have to select any one random cell over here, right click, and you can go for this option known as refresh option. So I click on refresh option over here. And now you see here, this value has changed 79,543. This is what we wanted. So this is a very, very important point that when you are doing any modification in the main table or the data table, whether you are deleting some some records or you are adding some records over there remember that when you are coming to your pivot table in the pivot table you have to just refresh the pivot table you can select any one random cell within the pivot table right click and you click here refresh and then the data will get refreshed so this you have to do it manually this is what we mean by this updation now the final topic in this video that let's say you are showing this pivot table to your manager and now your manager says that okay i'm having some problem with these numbers because this number it is 140 and i think so this is the 
smallest value in this whole pivot table. So let's say my manager may ask me that, okay, Samir, why you are getting here 140 for the fastener subcategory in the same day ship mode? So if my manager is having any doubt on this number, what I can do here, I can simply double click on this number. So I simply double click on this 140 and now I'm getting here the details. You see that now we are having the another sheet known as details one and now in the details one, I can see the details of that 140. So I can go over here and now if I add all these numbers here, then you can see below the sum is 139.752. So it is rounded off to 140. Here I can show my manager that, okay, this is how this 140 is coming. So here we are getting the details of that 140. So again, I'm repeating what you have to do. If you want to see the details of any of this number within the pivot table, you can select that cell over there and you can double click. When I double click this 16,000 something, I get another sheet known as details too. So here I can see the details for that particular number. So friends, in this video, we try to manipulate the pivot table. We also saw that, okay, how we can change the summarization values from sum to average, average to, let's say, if you want to do for max or mean. So that we had seen in this video. And plus, we also saw that how we can update the pivot table, how we can refresh the pivot table, how we can see the details of that value in the pivot table. Now in the next video, we'll be focusing on the two tabs that we are having in the pivot table. So there are two tabs over here in the pivot table that is pivot table analyze tab and pivot table design tab so in the next video we'll be talking about the pivot table analyze tab and then after that in the further video we'll be talking about the pivot table design tab so see you in the next video thank you very much